Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole, Marie, and Gary. Today, you guys, we are going to uh, kick off a Vlogtober with some Crocktober. Um, so today, I'm going to be making uh, pierogi and sausage in the crock pot. So, of course, you'll need a crock pot. Um, uh, you can use any be uh, any broth. I'm using unsalted beef broth. Vegetable spray for uh, the nonstick for the crock pot. I'm using two different types of pierogies. I'm using uh, classic cheddar and classic onion. And I know these kind of these guys don't look like the typical Miss T pierogies. Use whatever you can buy at whatever store. I'm going to use some parsley, garlic powder, paprika, uh, ground pepper. In the end, I'm going to sprinkle with some cheese. That's optional, and sour cream. Uh, it calls for using sour cream um, in it. Usually what I do is I top it. Some recipes I haven't shared before. Uh, we're going to put an onion in there too. And then kielbasa of your choice. So we're going to use the Polska kielbasa with pork and beef. So anyways, let's get started. Alright y'all, so I got our sausage out of the package. And this is how I, I cut it. <laughs> Just in rounds. Like that. And we'll use the whole sausage. Alright y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and put our sausage down in the bottom of our crock pot as well as with the onions. You can adjust this to your family size. This is just for me and my husband, family of two. There will be leftovers of course, so I guess maybe, you know, family of three or four. Like so. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and lay in our pierogies. We've had a little bit of these, so it uh, usually would be uh, a 32 ounce bag for a family of four, but it's just us, y'all. So, that was the classic onion. I think I'll put a couple uh, We'll just use it up. It was close to 32, 32 ounce pack. I would say about what is it? 16 ounces. So one and a half pounds actually is here versus two pounds. Next we're going to come in with some just a little bit of paprika. I'm not adding salt because we have to watch out for sodium, but if you don't have issues with that, by all means, add as much seasonings you like or as much uh, salt you like. Okay, so that was granulated there. Um, garlic. Some pepper. And a little bit of parsley. It's going to be about a cup and a half to two cups of liquid. We're going to go ahead, we're going to lid this. We're going to set this on high for three to four hours. You can also um, do it on low for uh, a low, low uh, on your crock pot setting for six to seven hours. Okay, y'all, as you can see, they are done. The pierogies have soaked up uh, most of the broth that was in there. 
And for those of that don't know what a pierogi is, it's just a dumpling with mashed potatoes and cheese or mashed potatoes and onion in them. So anyways, um, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to set this on warm because I'm getting my other vegetables ready, but we'll, we'll plate it up together. Okay, y'all, let's plate her up. Got that onion in there. More sausages on there. Now we're going to add the cheese. You can add as little or as much as you like. All right, y'all, let's go in. Let's get that taste test. I paired mine with uh, roasted Brussels sprouts. There you guys have it. <clears throat> I don't have my mic set up, so I hope you can hear me well. But let's just get in all that deliciousness. We're going to, and this is the pierogi. A little bit of sour cream and a sausage. Ooh, chow she hot. Mmm. And because the pierogi is a dumpling, it will make the broth kind of like a gravy at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Give this recipe a try. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye, y'all. Welcome to Crocktober, Vlogtober, and October. Bye, y'all.